Law of Vibration, How to Raise Your Frequency to Manifest Anything Written and published by Mindlixer This audiobook will empower you to harness the transformative power of your thoughts and emotions to shape your reality, aligning your inner frequency with the life you desire. It will guide you through the principles of vibration, teaching you how to raise your energetic state to manifest abundance, success, love, and joy in every aspect of your life. By developing emotional mastery, learning to elevate your thoughts, and taking inspired action, you'll unlock the secret to creating the life you've always dreamed of. Perfect for those seeking personal growth, spiritual alignment, and deeper self-awareness, this audiobook equips you with the tools to break free from limiting beliefs and step fully into your power as the creator of your reality. Whether you're striving for greater success, better relationships, or a more fulfilling life, this book will show you how to align with the frequencies of your desires and manifest a future full of endless possibilities. Chapter 1. The Hidden Blueprint of Reality The world you perceive around you is not solid, not fixed, not even permanent. It's a living, breathing reflection of your inner state, your beliefs, your emotions, and most importantly, your vibration. Imagine, for a moment, a great symphony playing in the background of your life, but instead of violins, cellos, or pianos, this symphony is composed of thoughts, emotions, and the energy you radiate with every breath, every movement, and every word. You are not just a participant in this cosmic orchestra, you are the conductor, the one who decides the tempo, the key, and the direction of every note. And yet, so many of us go through life unaware of this profound truth. We wander through our days, reacting to external events as if we are at the mercy of circumstances, not realizing that it is we who are creating them, whether consciously or unconsciously. This is the hidden blueprint of reality, the vibration you hold within yourself shapes the world around you, moment by moment, creating your life experience. Think of it this way, if you were to turn on a radio and randomly flip through the stations, you would hear a variety of music, talk shows, or static. Yet, each station operates on a specific frequency, transmitting its unique signal to the receiver, your radio. Your life works in the same way. Your mind, your emotions, and your spirit are constantly broadcasting a frequency, a signal that the universe responds to without fail. The challenge, however, is that most of us are unaware of the frequency we are transmitting. We live on autopilot, allowing old habits, outdated beliefs, and unresolved emotions to dictate the signals we send out into the world. And because we are not conscious of these signals, we remain perplexed when life reflects back circumstances that seem unfair, confusing, or unwanted. It's as though you are a ship navigating the vast ocean of life, but you've forgotten that you are the one holding the compass. The winds, the waves, and the currents may be strong at times, but you have always had the power to steer in any direction. The key lies in understanding and mastering your vibration. Imagine for a moment that everything around you, the people you meet, the opportunities that come your way, the challenges you face, is a mirror reflecting the frequency you are emitting. If you are broadcasting scarcity, fear, or doubt, you will inevitably encounter situations that reinforce those feelings. Conversely, when you elevate your vibration to one of abundance, joy, and confidence, you will attract experiences that reflect those higher frequencies. But here's where it gets truly fascinating, the universe doesn't respond to what you say you want, it responds to the vibration you are. This is the core of the hidden blueprint that governs your reality. You may say you want success, love, or fulfillment, but if the vibration you are holding is one of lack, fear, or doubt, the universe will continue to mirror those lower frequencies back to you. It's as if you are tuned to a radio station playing the wrong song, no matter how much you wish to hear something else, the station won't change until you shift your frequency. And so, the key to transforming your life is not in trying to manipulate external circumstances, but in shifting your internal vibration. This is where the real magic happens. Now, you may be wondering, 
How does one go about shifting their vibration? How do you even know what frequency you are operating on right now? The answers to these questions lie within you, in the deepest recesses of your mind and heart. Every thought you think, every emotion you feel, and every belief you hold carries a vibration, and together, these vibrations create the energetic signature that you broadcast to the universe. To shift your vibration, you must first become aware of the thoughts and emotions that dominate your inner world. This requires a level of self-awareness that many of us have never fully cultivated. We are so used to reacting to the world around us that we rarely stop to consider how the world within us is shaping our experience. But awareness is only the first step. Once you recognize the vibration you are currently operating from, the real work begins, consciously raising your frequency. This means deliberately choosing thoughts, emotions, and actions that align with the reality you wish to create. It means cultivating a state of inner peace, joy, and abundance, even when external circumstances seem to suggest otherwise. This is not about pretending that everything is perfect when it is not. It's about recognizing that the power to change your external reality lies in your ability to shift your internal state. The world around you will always reflect the vibration you hold within yourself. If you want to see change in your life, you must first become the change within. And so, the hidden blueprint of reality is not something that is imposed upon you from the outside. It is something you create from within, through the vibration you choose to hold. Every day, every moment, you have the opportunity to raise your frequency and align with the reality you desire. The universe is always listening, always responding to the vibration you broadcast. The question is, what signal are you sending out? What frequency are you tuning into? The answers to these questions hold the key to unlocking the life you were meant to live. You are not a passive observer in the universe's grand design, you are an active participant, a creator of your own reality, a master of your own vibration. The hidden blueprint is not a mystery that can never be understood. It is a truth that has always been within you, waiting for you to awaken to its power. What would happen if, starting right now, you decided to consciously shift your vibration? What if you chose to let go of the fear, doubt, and negativity that have been holding you back and instead embraced a vibration of love, abundance, and possibility? The world would change before your eyes. Opportunities would appear where there were once obstacles. People who resonate with your new frequency would be drawn to you, and those who do not would naturally fall away. Your external circumstances would begin to reflect the higher vibration you are holding within. This is not wishful thinking or some abstract concept, it is the natural law of the universe. What you think is true becomes true in your life. What you believe is possible becomes possible. What you vibrate at a deep, energetic level becomes the reality you experience. So, as you move forward on this journey, remember that the power to create the life you desire has always been within you. You are the conductor of the symphony, the captain of the ship, the architect of your reality. The hidden blueprint is not hidden from you, it is simply waiting for you to recognize it, to tap into it, and to use it to shape the world around you. This is the path to mastery, the key to unlocking your full potential. Every moment is an opportunity to raise your vibration and align with the highest version of yourself. The question is, are you ready to take control of your frequency and start creating the life you've always dreamed of? Chapter 2. The Science of Vibration and Frequency Imagine for a moment that you are a powerful magnet, silently pulling toward you the experiences, people, and circumstances that match the invisible energy you emit. This energy, this frequency, is not something tangible that you can see with your eyes or touch with your hands, yet it is the very force that shapes the course of your life. You may wonder how such a thing could be possible, but the truth is that the universe is built upon the foundation of vibration and frequency. Every atom, every particle, every thought and emotion resonates at a specific frequency. 
From the smallest blade of grass to the farthest star, everything vibrates. It is a universal law, a fundamental principle of existence, that everything is in constant motion, emitting and receiving energy. And just as a radio must be tuned to the correct frequency to receive a clear signal, your life is tuned to the frequency of your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. To understand this more clearly, let's dive into the science of vibration and frequency. At the most basic level, everything is made up of energy. Even what appears to be solid and unchanging, such as the chair you're sitting on or the walls around you, is, at its core, a swirling mass of energy. The atoms that make up every object, every person, and every thought are constantly vibrating, moving in patterns that give rise to the physical world as we know it. These vibrations occur at different frequencies, some higher and some lower, depending on the nature of the object or energy in question. What's truly fascinating is that these frequencies are not just abstract concepts, they are measurable, tangible realities. Scientists can observe the vibration of particles under a microscope, and they can even measure the frequency of brain waves, showing how our thoughts and emotions carry their own unique energy signature. But why does this matter? Why should we care about the vibrations of particles or the frequency of thoughts? The answer lies in the profound connection between energy and manifestation. The universe operates according to the principle of resonance, which means that like attracts like. When two objects, or two energies, are vibrating at the same frequency, they naturally come together. This is the essence of manifestation, whatever frequency you are vibrating at will attract experiences, people, and circumstances that match that frequency. If your thoughts and emotions are vibrating at a high frequency, such as love, joy, or abundance, you will naturally attract experiences that resonate with those feelings. On the other hand, if your thoughts and emotions are vibrating at a low frequency, such as fear, anger, or lack, you will attract experiences that reinforce those negative vibrations. This concept may sound abstract, but it is happening all the time, whether we are aware of it or not. Think about the last time you were in a bad mood, perhaps feeling frustrated or angry. Chances are, during that time, you encountered situations that only made you feel worse. Maybe you had a disagreement with a co-worker, or you hit every red light on your way home, or perhaps an unexpected bill arrived in the mail. In those moments, it may have seemed as if the world was conspiring against you, as if everything that could go wrong was going wrong. But what was really happening was that your negative emotional state was attracting experiences that matched the frequency of frustration and anger you were emitting. Conversely, think about a time when you were in a great mood, feeling happy and optimistic. During those moments, it's likely that everything seemed to fall into place effortlessly. Maybe you received good news, or a friend reached out to you with an unexpected opportunity, or you simply felt as if the universe was on your side. In those moments, you were vibrating at a high frequency, and as a result, you attracted experiences that resonated with your positive energy. This is not a coincidence or mere happenstance, it is the law of vibration in action. The energy you emit, through your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, sets the frequency of your life, and the universe responds accordingly. What's important to understand is that this process is happening all the time, whether you are conscious of it or not. You are always vibrating, always emitting energy, and the universe is always responding. The question is, what frequency are you vibrating at? And more importantly, is that frequency aligned with the life you want to create? Many people go through life unaware of the power they have to shape their reality through their vibration. They believe they are at the mercy of external circumstances, that life is something that happens to them rather than something they create. But once you understand the science of vibration and frequency, you realize that you are not a victim of circumstance, you are a creator of your own reality. So how do you raise your frequency? How do you shift from a vibration of lack, fear, or frustration to one of abundance, love, and joy? 
The answer lies in your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. Every thought you think, every emotion you feel, and every belief you hold carries a specific vibration. When you think a thought of gratitude, for example, you are emitting a high-frequency vibration that attracts more experiences to be grateful for. When you feel joy or love, you are raising your vibration and aligning yourself with the frequency of abundance. On the other hand, when you dwell on thoughts of fear, worry, or resentment, you lower your vibration and attract experiences that match those lower frequencies. The key, then, is to become conscious of the frequency you are emitting and to deliberately choose thoughts, emotions, and beliefs that raise your vibration. This process begins with awareness. You cannot change what you are not aware of, and so the first step to raising your frequency is to become aware of your current vibrational state. Throughout your day, pay attention to your thoughts and emotions. Notice how they make you feel. Are you feeling uplifted and energized, or are you feeling drained and weighed down? If you find that your thoughts are consistently negative or your emotions are consistently low, it's a sign that you are vibrating at a lower frequency. But don't despair, this is an opportunity to shift your vibration and align yourself with the frequency of the life you desire. One of the most powerful ways to raise your vibration is through the practice of gratitude. Gratitude is a high-frequency emotion that instantly shifts your energy and aligns you with the vibration of abundance. When you focus on what you are grateful for, you send out a signal to the universe that says, I am abundant, I am blessed, and I am open to receiving more. The universe, in turn, responds by bringing more experiences into your life that match that vibration of abundance. It's important to note that gratitude is not just about being thankful for the big things in life, like a promotion at work or a new relationship. It's about appreciating the small, everyday moments, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the sound of laughter, the taste of your morning coffee. The more you focus on these moments of gratitude, the more you raise your vibration and attract more of what you want into your life. Another powerful way to raise your frequency is through the practice of visualization. Visualization is a tool that allows you to align your thoughts and emotions with the frequency of the life you want to create. When you visualize your desired reality with vivid detail and emotion, you are essentially broadcasting a signal to the universe that says, this is what I want, and this is the frequency I am aligning with. The more you practice visualization, the more you train your mind and emotions to vibrate at the frequency of your desires. It's not enough to simply think about what you want, you must feel it as if it is already yours. This is the key to raising your vibration and manifesting your desires, aligning your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs with the frequency of what you want to attract. The science of vibration and frequency may seem abstract at first, but once you begin to apply it in your life, you will see just how powerful it is. You will begin to notice that the energy you emit truly does shape your reality. You will see that when you raise your vibration, the universe responds by bringing you experiences, people, and opportunities that match that higher frequency. You are not a passive observer in the game of life, you are an active participant, and you have the power to create the life you desire through the frequency you choose to emit. Chapter 3, Rewiring the Mind, Elevating Your Thoughts Your mind is like a vast, untamed garden, constantly sprouting thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. Some of these mental seeds are the result of deliberate planting, ideas you've consciously cultivated, hopes you've nurtured, dreams you've envisioned. But many others have taken root without your awareness, like wild weeds, growing unchecked and influencing your reality in ways you might not even realize. The mind has a peculiar way of running on autopilot, repeating the same patterns, dwelling on the same concerns, and returning to the same well-worn pathways of thought, over and over again. These patterns, these habitual ways of thinking, are not just abstract musings that float through your consciousness without consequence. They are the very seeds that determine what grows in the garden of your life. Every thought you entertain, 
Every belief you cling to, every story you tell yourself about who you are and what's possible in your life is shaping the reality that unfolds before you. Rewiring your mind begins with understanding the profound connection between your thoughts and the frequency they carry. Thoughts are not passive, they are active forces that emit energy, energy that is constantly interacting with the universe. You see, your mind is like a powerful transmitter, continuously broadcasting signals out into the world, signals that shape the circumstances and experiences you attract. If you have ever wondered why certain patterns keep repeating in your life, why the same kinds of challenges, relationships, or outcomes seem to follow you no matter where you go, the answer lies in the vibrational frequency of your thoughts. It's as if you've been tuned into the same mental station for years, unknowingly broadcasting the same frequency and receiving the same kind of feedback from the universe in response. The challenge for many of us is that we've become so accustomed to these thought patterns that they feel like truth. We don't question them, we don't examine them. We simply accept them as part of who we are, as the natural lens through which we view the world. But what if those thoughts, those deeply ingrained beliefs, are not an accurate reflection of reality but rather a reflection of past conditioning? What if they are remnants of fear? doubt, or limitation that no longer serve you. Imagine for a moment that your mind is a powerful engine, and the thoughts you think are the fuel that drives it. If you fill your mind with thoughts of scarcity, fear, or self-doubt, that engine will run on low, sputtering and struggling to generate the kind of energy that propels you forward. But when you feed your mind with thoughts of abundance, love, and possibility, the engine runs smoothly, effortlessly propelling you toward the life you desire. Rewiring the mind requires a deliberate shift, a conscious choice to replace the old mental patterns with new, empowering ones. But this is easier said than done. The mind is a creature of habit, and changing deeply ingrained thought patterns can feel like trying to steer a massive ship in a new direction. The old thoughts will resist, like currents pulling you back toward the familiar, even if the familiar is a place of limitation and lack. This is where the practice of intentional thinking comes into play. To elevate your thoughts is to take full responsibility for the mental seeds you plant in the garden of your mind. It means becoming hyper-aware of the thoughts that flow through your consciousness on a daily basis and making the conscious decision to weed out those that do not align with the reality you wish to create. One of the most effective ways to begin this process is through the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness is the art of paying attention to the present moment, of becoming fully aware of your thoughts without judgment. When you practice mindfulness, you create a space between your thoughts and your reactions. Instead of automatically responding to every thought that arises, you observe it. You notice its tone, its energy, and its effect on your emotional state. Over time, this practice allows you to identify the thoughts that are holding you back and to begin the process of releasing them. Think of it like standing at the edge of your garden and watching the plants grow. You don't have to tend to every plant, and you certainly don't have to water the weeds. Instead, you can choose to nurture the thoughts that serve your highest good, while allowing the rest to wither away. But mindfulness alone is not enough. To truly rewire your mind, you must also actively cultivate higher frequency thoughts, thoughts that align with the vibration of the life you want to live. This requires not only awareness but also intention. It means deliberately choosing thoughts of love when your mind is tempted to dwell on fear. It means focusing on abundance, even when your current circumstances might suggest lack. It means holding a vision of success, even in the face of temporary setbacks. This is the essence of mental mastery, the ability to direct your thoughts toward the frequency of your desires, regardless of what your external reality may be showing you in the moment. One of the most powerful tools for rewiring your mind is the practice of affirmations. Affirmations are positive, present tense statements that reflect the reality you want to create. When you repeat affirmations consistently, they begin to reprogram your subconscious mind, replacing old, limiting beliefs with new, empowering ones. But affirmations are more than just words. 
To be truly effective, they must be spoken with conviction, with feeling, and with the belief that they are already true. The subconscious mind does not distinguish between what is real and what is imagined, it simply responds to the energy and emotion behind the thoughts you feed it. When you affirm, I am abundant, or I am worthy of love, you are not just reciting empty phrases. You are sending out a powerful vibrational signal that aligns you with the frequency of abundance and love. Visualization is another powerful technique for rewiring the mind. When you visualize, you engage the power of your imagination to create a mental picture of the life you want to live. But visualization is not just about seeing an image in your mind's eye, it's about feeling the emotions that accompany that image. When you visualize your desired reality with clarity and emotion, you begin to align your thoughts and feelings with the frequency of that reality. The mind does not know the difference between what is real and what is vividly imagined, which is why visualization is such a powerful tool for manifestation. By regularly visualizing your desired outcome, you are training your mind to vibrate at the frequency of that outcome, making it easier to attract into your life. The process of rewiring your mind is not something that happens overnight. It is a journey, one that requires patience, persistence, and a deep commitment to your personal growth. Along the way, you will encounter resistance. The old thought patterns will not disappear without a fight. They will try to pull you back into the familiar, into the safety of limitation and doubt. But with each conscious choice to elevate your thoughts, with each moment of mindfulness, with each repetition of an affirmation, and with each vivid visualization, you are strengthening the new neural pathways in your brain. You are literally rewiring your mind to operate on a higher frequency, one that aligns with the reality you are choosing to create. As you continue this process, you will begin to notice subtle shifts in your external reality. The people you attract, the opportunities that come your way, and the circumstances that unfold in your life will begin to reflect the higher frequency of your thoughts. It may start small, a chance encounter, an unexpected opportunity, a moment of synchronicity, but over time, these shifts will become more pronounced. The more you align your thoughts with the frequency of abundance, love, and possibility, the more your external reality will mirror those higher frequencies. And in that moment, you will realize the true power of your mind to shape your life. You are not a passive participant in the game of life, you are a powerful creator, capable of transforming your reality by transforming your thoughts. Chapter 4. Emotional Mastery, Raising Your Vibrational State Emotions are far more than fleeting experiences that pass through our awareness. They are the very fabric of our vibrational state, the energetic signature that we carry with us into every situation, relationship, and circumstance. To understand the power of emotions is to understand the key to mastering your vibrational frequency, for emotions are the fuel that drives the manifestation of our thoughts. While the mind may be the architect of our reality, emotions are the builders, the force that breathes life into the thoughts we think and the beliefs we hold. Without emotional alignment, our thoughts remain mere concepts, abstract ideas that never materialize into tangible experiences. It is our emotions that activate the frequency of those thoughts, sending out a signal to the universe that shapes the reality we encounter. Think of emotions as the language of the universe. When you feel joy, gratitude, or love, you are speaking the language of abundance, and the universe responds in kind, delivering experiences that resonate with that high-frequency energy. On the other hand, when you feel fear, anger, or sadness, you are speaking the language of lack, and the universe mirrors those lower vibrations back to you, often in the form of obstacles, conflicts, or challenges. The universe does not discriminate between positive or negative emotions, it simply responds to the frequency you emit, amplifying that vibration and reflecting it back into your life. This is why mastering your emotions is so crucial to raising your vibration and aligning with the reality you desire. It is not enough to simply think positive thoughts or affirm your desires, you must feel the emotions that correspond to those desires. 
you must become emotionally aligned with the frequency of the life you want to create. Emotional mastery begins with awareness. Most of us are so accustomed to being swept up in the currents of our emotions that we fail to recognize the power we have to consciously choose how we feel. We allow external circumstances to dictate our emotional state, reacting to the world around us as if we are at its mercy. Yet, the truth is that we are not passive recipients of our emotions, we are their creators. Every emotion we feel is a response to the thoughts we think and the meaning we assign to our experiences. If we believe that a certain situation is unfair or threatening, we will feel fear or anger. If we believe that the same situation is an opportunity for growth, we will feel excitement or curiosity. The emotion itself is not inherent in the situation, it is a product of our perception. And this is where our power lies, the power to choose how we perceive our experiences and, therefore, how we feel in response to them. The first step in mastering your emotions is to recognize that you are not your emotions. You are the observer of your emotions, the one who experiences them, but is not defined by them. This realization creates a space between you and your emotional state, allowing you to observe your feelings without being consumed by them. It is in this space that you can begin to make conscious choices about how you want to feel. Instead of reacting automatically to every trigger or circumstance, you can pause, reflect, and decide how you wish to respond. This is the essence of emotional intelligence, the ability to regulate your emotional state in a way that serves your highest good, rather than being at the mercy of your emotions. But emotional mastery does not mean suppressing or ignoring your emotions. On the contrary, it requires a deep level of honesty and self-compassion. You cannot raise your vibration by pretending that you don't feel anger, sadness, or fear. These emotions are a natural part of the human experience, and they carry valuable information about where you are vibrationally and what needs to be healed or released. Instead of resisting these emotions or judging yourself for feeling them, the key is to acknowledge them, allow them to move through you, and then consciously choose to shift to a higher vibrational state. It's not about denying the lower emotions, but about processing them in a way that allows you to return to your natural state of joy, love, and abundance. One of the most effective ways to shift your emotional state is through the practice of gratitude. Gratitude is the ultimate emotional alchemist, capable of transforming even the darkest emotions into light. When you focus on what you are grateful for, you raise your vibration instantly, because gratitude is one of the highest frequencies you can experience. It's impossible to feel grateful and fearful at the same time, the two vibrations cannot coexist. Gratitude shifts your focus from what is lacking in your life to what is abundant, from what is wrong to what is right. It is a powerful tool for realigning your emotional state with the frequency of abundance and possibility. The practice of gratitude doesn't have to be grand or dramatic, it can be as simple as taking a moment each day to reflect on the small blessings in your life, the warmth of the sun, the taste of your favorite food, the sound of laughter. These moments of appreciation may seem insignificant, but they are incredibly powerful in raising your vibration. Another powerful tool for emotional mastery is the practice of meditation. Meditation allows you to quiet the mind and tune into your emotional state without judgment. It creates a space of stillness where you can observe your thoughts and feelings without being swept away by them. Through meditation, you can learn to detach from the lower vibrational emotions and return to a state of peace and clarity. Even just a few minutes of meditation each day can have a profound effect on your emotional well-being, helping you to reset your vibration and align with the frequency of joy and abundance. Meditation is not about escaping your emotions, but about creating a space where you can process them and then consciously choose how you want to feel moving forward. In addition to gratitude and meditation, one of the most powerful ways to raise your emotional vibration is through movement. The body and emotions are intimately connected, and physical movement can help to release stagnant emotional energy and raise your vibrational frequency. 
Whether it's through dance, yoga, running, or simply taking a walk in nature, moving your body allows you to shift your emotional state in a way that words and thoughts alone cannot. When you move your body, you move energy, and in doing so, you can release the lower vibrational emotions that may be holding you back. The key is to choose movements that bring you joy, that make you feel alive and connected to your body. When you move with intention, you raise your vibration and align with the frequency of your desires. Emotional mastery also requires a commitment to self-compassion. Too often, we judge ourselves for feeling negative emotions, believing that we should always be happy, always positive, always vibrating at the highest frequency. But this is an unrealistic expectation. Life is a spectrum of experiences, and it is natural to feel the full range of emotions. What matters is not that you never feel fear, anger, or sadness, but how you respond to those emotions when they arise. Do you allow them to consume you, dragging you down into a spiral of negativity? Or do you acknowledge them, honor them, and then gently guide yourself back to a higher vibrational state? Self-compassion means being kind to yourself in moments of emotional difficulty, recognizing that you are human and that it's okay to feel what you feel. When you approach your emotions with kindness and understanding, you create a space for healing and transformation, allowing you to raise your vibration in a sustainable way. Ultimately, emotional mastery is about taking responsibility for your vibrational state. It is about recognizing that while you may not always have control over the circumstances of your life, you always have control over how you choose to respond to those circumstances. You have the power to choose your emotional state in any given moment, and in doing so, you have the power to shape the frequency you emit to the universe. This is the key to raising your vibration and aligning with the reality you desire, consciously choosing to feel the emotions that match the frequency of your desires. When you master your emotions, you master your vibration, and when you master your vibration, you master your life. Chapter 5 Vibrational Alignment Living in Harmony with Your Desires The reality you experience every day is not something that happens to you, but something you are continuously creating, moment by moment, through the alignment or misalignment of your thoughts, emotions, and desires. Alignment is the key to manifesting your dreams, and it is a delicate, intricate dance between your inner world and the outer universe. When you are in vibrational alignment with your desires, the universe seems to conspire in your favor, bringing people, opportunities, and circumstances that match the frequency of what you seek. But when you are out of alignment, even the simplest tasks can feel like uphill battles, and the things you desire most seem to remain just out of reach, no matter how hard you try. The question, then, is how do you align your vibration with your desires in a way that allows for effortless manifestation, in a way that makes your dreams flow to you as naturally as the air you breathe? It begins with the understanding that everything in the universe, including your desires, has a frequency. Whether you are aware of it or not, the things you long for, whether they are love, success, abundance, or happiness, are not just abstract concepts, but energetic frequencies that already exist in the vibrational field of the universe. These desires are like radio signals, constantly being broadcast, waiting for you to tune into the right frequency. The reason why some people seem to manifest their desires effortlessly while others struggle is not because of luck or external circumstances, it is because of vibrational alignment. When your thoughts, emotions, and actions are aligned with the frequency of what you want, you attract it into your life. When they are misaligned, you repel it, even if you are consciously trying to manifest it. To align with your desires, you must first become clear on what it is you truly want. This may sound simple, but for many people, their desires are clouded by doubt, fear, or conflicting beliefs. They say they want abundance, but deep down, they are afraid of losing what they already have. They say they want love, but they hold on to beliefs about not being worthy or deserving of it. These conflicting energies create a kind of vibrational static that prevents you from aligning with the frequency of your true desires. 
To clear this static, you must become brutally honest with yourself about what you truly want and what beliefs, fears, or doubts may be standing in the way. This is not always a comfortable process, as it requires you to confront the limiting beliefs that have been shaping your reality, often unconsciously, for years. But once you do, you create the space for true alignment to occur. The next step is to elevate your thoughts to match the frequency of your desires. Every thought you think emits a vibration, and that vibration either moves you closer to or further away from what you want to manifest. If you constantly think thoughts of scarcity, lack, or fear, you are aligning with the frequency of those lower vibrational states, and you will continue to attract experiences that mirror that vibration. But when you deliberately choose thoughts of abundance, possibility, and love, you elevate your frequency and begin to align with the reality you desire. This is not about wishful thinking or denying the challenges you may face in the present moment. It is about choosing to focus your mental energy on the possibilities, rather than the limitations. It is about training your mind to see opportunities, even in the face of obstacles, and to believe that what you desire is not only possible, but already on its way to you. But thoughts alone are not enough to create alignment. Your emotions play an equally important role in the vibrational equation. Emotions are the fuel that powers your vibration, amplifying the energy of your thoughts and broadcasting it out into the universe. You can think positive thoughts all day long, but if your emotional state is one of fear, doubt, or anxiety, you will still be emitting a low vibrational frequency. To truly align with your desires, you must feel the emotions that match the frequency of what you want to manifest. This means cultivating feelings of joy, gratitude, and excitement, even before your desires have materialized in physical form. This is where many people get stuck, because they are waiting for external circumstances to change before they allow themselves to feel good. But the universe does not work that way. It is not your external reality that dictates your emotional state, it is your emotional state that dictates your external reality. To shift your emotions into alignment with your desires, you must practice feeling the way you would feel if your desires were already manifested. This requires you to use your imagination to create the emotional experience of having what you want, even before it shows up in your physical reality. For example, if you desire financial abundance, practice feeling the emotions of security, freedom, and gratitude that you would feel if you already had all the money you wanted. If you desire love, practice feeling the emotions of joy, connection, and fulfillment that come with being in a loving relationship. The more you can embody the emotions that match the frequency of your desires, the more you will align with those desires and attract them into your life. This is not about pretending or forcing yourself to feel something that isn't genuine, it is about deliberately choosing to focus on the emotions that align with what you want, rather than the emotions that align with what you don't want. But even when your thoughts and emotions are aligned with your desires, there is still one more crucial piece of the puzzle, your actions. Many people believe that manifestation is purely a mental or emotional process, but in reality, your actions are the bridge between your inner world and your outer reality. To align with your desires, you must take actions that are consistent with the frequency of what you want to manifest. This doesn't mean that you have to work harder or force things to happen, it means that you must act from a place of alignment, rather than from a place of fear, doubt, or desperation. When you are in alignment with your desires, your actions flow naturally and effortlessly. You are not pushing against the current, trying to make things happen, you are moving with the current, allowing things to unfold in their own time and in their own way. Aligned action often looks different from the kind of action we are used to taking. It is not driven by fear of failure or a need to prove something to the world. It is not rushed or frantic, nor is it based on a sense of lack or urgency. Instead, aligned action comes from a place of inner knowing, a deep sense of trust that the universe is working in your favor. When you are in alignment, you feel inspired to take action, and those actions feel light, joyful, and effortless. You might have a sudden urge to call someone, take a certain route to work, 
or pursue a new opportunity. These inspired actions are the universe's way of guiding you toward the fulfillment of your desires, and they often lead to synchronicities, unexpected opportunities, and lucky breaks that move you closer to what you want. The key to taking aligned action is to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is your inner guidance system, constantly nudging you toward the actions that will bring you into alignment with your desires. It speaks to you in subtle ways, through gut feelings, sudden ideas, or a sense of knowing that you can't quite explain. When you follow these intuitive prompts, even if they don't make logical sense in the moment, you are aligning yourself with the flow of the universe. This doesn't mean that every action you take will lead to immediate results, but over time, as you continue to follow your intuition and take inspired action, you will begin to see the path unfold before you. The more you trust in this process, the more you will find yourself in the right place at the right time, effortlessly attracting the people, opportunities, and experiences that align with your desires. Alignment is not a one-time event, but an ongoing practice. It requires you to continually check in with yourself, to ask whether your thoughts, emotions, and actions are aligned with the reality you wish to create. It requires you to make conscious choices every day, in every moment, to elevate your vibration and align with the frequency of your desires. This may sound like a lot of work, but in reality, it is the path of least resistance. When you are in alignment, life flows effortlessly. You don't have to struggle, push, or fight to make things happen. You simply align with the vibration of what you want, and the universe responds by bringing it into your experience. This is the essence of vibrational alignment, becoming the energetic match to your desires, and allowing the universe to do the rest. Chapter 6 The Power of Persistence, Sustaining High Vibrations There is a misconception that raising your vibration and manifesting your desires is a one-time event, a single moment of clarity or effort that sets everything in motion. But in reality, the process of sustaining a high vibrational state requires persistence, consistency, and a deep commitment to ongoing growth. It is not a fleeting spark of positivity that carries you to the life you dream of, but the steady flame of inner work that fuels your journey. Like any practice, keeping your vibration elevated is a lifelong endeavor, one that requires attention and care, especially during times of challenge or adversity. The power of persistence in maintaining high vibrations cannot be overstated, because the truth is, life will inevitably test your resolve. Circumstances will arise that seem designed to pull you back into lower frequencies of fear, doubt, and frustration. But it is precisely in those moments when your persistence matters most. It is in those moments when your ability to sustain high vibrations becomes your greatest strength. Consider for a moment the process of building physical strength. If you were to go to the gym once, lift weights for a single session, and expect to maintain that strength for the rest of your life, you would quickly realize the fallacy of such thinking. Physical strength is something that must be cultivated over time, through repeated efforts, through pushing against resistance, and through the consistent practice of discipline. The same is true for your vibrational strength. It is not enough to raise your vibration once and then expect the results to last forever. The universe operates on momentum, and the energy you put out into the world is constantly being shaped and reshaped by the frequency you maintain. Each day, each moment, is an opportunity to build and sustain that momentum, to ensure that you are vibrating at a frequency that aligns with the life you desire. This is the essence of persistence, not in the sense of force or struggle, but in the sense of a steady, unwavering commitment to staying aligned with your highest self. One of the greatest challenges in maintaining a high vibrational state is the inevitable ebb and flow of emotions and experiences. Life is not a constant stream of positivity, and there will be times when external circumstances seem to conspire against your efforts to stay aligned. Perhaps you face unexpected setbacks, difficult relationships, or personal hardships that challenge your ability to remain in a state of joy and gratitude. These moments are not a sign that you have failed, but rather an invitation to deepen your practice. 
The true test of your vibrational mastery is not how high you can soar when things are going well, but how resilient you can remain when things are not. Can you maintain your inner peace when the world around you feels chaotic? Can you hold on to your sense of abundance even in the face of temporary lack? Can you continue to emit love and compassion when confronted with anger or hostility? These are the questions that define your ability to persist in a high vibrational state, and they are the questions that you must return to again and again on your journey. The key to persistence is not to resist or deny the challenges that arise, but to embrace them as part of your growth. Just as physical muscles grow stronger through resistance, your vibrational muscles are strengthened through the challenges you face. Every time you encounter a situation that threatens to pull you into a lower vibrational state, whether it be through frustration, fear, or doubt, you are given the opportunity to choose a higher frequency. This choice is not always easy, especially in the heat of the moment when emotions run high, but it is always available to you. The more you practice choosing a higher vibration in the face of adversity, the more natural it becomes. Over time, you will find that what once seemed like an insurmountable challenge becomes a manageable stepping stone, a reminder of your own power to shape your vibrational reality. One of the most powerful tools for sustaining high vibrations is the practice of daily rituals. These rituals act as anchors, grounding you in your highest frequency, even when the world around you feels unstable. Whether it's a morning meditation, a gratitude practice, or a moment of quiet reflection before bed, these rituals create a sacred space for you to reconnect with your inner self and realign with the frequency you wish to maintain. The key to these rituals is consistency. Just as you would not expect to build physical strength by exercising sporadically, you cannot expect to maintain high vibrations without consistent, deliberate effort. The beauty of these rituals is that they do not have to be complicated or time-consuming. Even a few minutes of intentional breathing, a silent affirmation, or a moment of stillness can have a profound effect on your vibrational state. The important thing is not the length or complexity of the ritual, but the intention behind it. When you approach these moments with the clear intention of raising and maintaining your vibration, you set the stage for the universe to respond in kind. Another essential aspect of persistence in maintaining high vibrations is the practice of self-compassion. Too often, we fall into the trap of believing that we must always be in a state of perfect alignment, that any deviation from joy or positivity is a sign of failure. But this is an unrealistic expectation, one that only leads to frustration and self-judgment. The path to high vibration is not a linear journey, but a cyclical one. There will be ups and downs, moments of clarity and moments of confusion, times when you feel fully aligned and times when you feel off course. The key is to approach these fluctuations with kindness and understanding, recognizing that they are a natural part of the human experience. When you allow yourself the space to feel your emotions, without judgment or resistance, you create the conditions for healing and realignment. Self-compassion is not about excusing or justifying negative behavior, but about acknowledging that you are doing the best you can in each moment and offering yourself the grace to grow at your own pace. The practice of persistence is also about surrounding yourself with environments and people who support your vibrational journey. Just as you would not plant a delicate flower in harsh, barren soil, you cannot expect to thrive in an environment that consistently pulls you into lower frequencies. This doesn't mean that you must isolate yourself from the world or avoid all challenges, but it does mean being mindful of the energy you expose yourself to. Are the people in your life lifting you up, or are they draining your energy? Are your daily surroundings conducive to peace and inspiration, or do they reinforce stress and negativity? These are important questions to consider as you cultivate a high vibrational state. The energy you surround yourself with has a profound impact on your ability to sustain your vibration, and by choosing environments and relationships that nurture your highest self, you make the path to persistence much easier. One of the most challenging aspects of persistence is learning to trust the timing of the universe. In a world that values instant gratification, 
it can be difficult to remain patient and trusting when your desires do not manifest as quickly as you would like. But the universe operates on its own timeline, one that is often beyond our immediate understanding. There may be times when it feels as though your efforts to raise your vibration are not producing the results you desire, when it seems like nothing is changing, despite all of your inner work. In these moments, it is easy to become discouraged, to fall back into old patterns of doubt and fear. But persistence is about holding the faith, even when the evidence has not yet appeared. It is about trusting that the universe is working behind the scenes, aligning the people, opportunities, and circumstances that will bring your desires into reality at the perfect time. This trust is not passive, it is an active, ongoing practice of maintaining your vibration, knowing that the energy you put out today will return to you in ways that you may not yet see. Finally, persistence is about celebrating your progress, no matter how small. It is easy to overlook the subtle shifts in your vibrational state, especially when the changes in your external reality are not yet fully visible. But every step you take toward raising your vibration is a victory, and every moment you choose a higher frequency is a testament to your growth. Persistence is not about perfection, it is about progress. It is about recognizing that each day, each moment, is an opportunity to align more fully with the life you desire. By acknowledging and celebrating your efforts, you create positive reinforcement for yourself, which in turn strengthens your ability to persist. The journey of maintaining high vibrations is not a sprint, but a marathon, and it is through the steady, consistent practice of alignment that you ultimately reach your destination. Chapter 7 Becoming the Vibrational Architect of Your Life You are not merely a passive observer in the grand design of the universe, you are an active creator, a vibrational architect shaping the reality you experience with every thought, emotion, and belief. To fully step into this role as the architect of your life, you must understand that every moment presents an opportunity to consciously design the blueprint of your existence. This blueprint is not made of brick and mortar, nor is it fixed or static. It is fluid, ever-changing, and dynamic, reflecting the shifts in your inner world as you move through life. The reality that unfolds around you is the result of the vibration you hold within, your frequency, your energy signature. And just as an architect carefully selects the materials, the structure, and the design for a building, so too must you carefully curate the thoughts, emotions, and actions that construct your reality. The concept of becoming the vibrational architect of your life begins with the understanding that everything you desire already exists in the vibrational field of the universe. It is not something you need to create from scratch, nor is it something you need to chase or strive for. Rather, it is something you need to align with, to tune into, much like adjusting the dial on a radio until you find the station that plays the music you want to hear. But this alignment does not happen by chance or by wishful thinking. It happens through deliberate, conscious effort, through the daily practice of choosing thoughts, emotions, and actions that resonate with the frequency of the life you wish to create. Imagine that your life is a blank canvas, and the paintbrush in your hand is your vibration. With every stroke, every choice you make, you are adding color, texture, and depth to the picture of your reality. But unlike a traditional painting, where the outcome is fixed once the brush strokes are laid, the canvas of your life is constantly evolving, constantly reflecting the shifts in your vibrational state. If you paint with fear, doubt, or limitation, the colors on your canvas will appear dull, muted, and incomplete. But when you paint with love, joy, and abundance, the colors come alive, vibrant, and full of possibility. The beauty of being a vibrational architect is that you can always change the design, always add new elements, always adjust the frequency of the energy you are emitting. You are never stuck, never locked into a single version of reality. At any moment, you have the power to create something new, something more aligned with the deepest desires of your soul. One of the most powerful ways to step into the role of vibrational architect is through the practice of deliberate intention setting. 
Intention is the foundation upon which your vibrational blueprint is built. It is the conscious decision to direct your energy toward a specific outcome, to align your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the reality you wish to create. But intention is more than just a wish or a desire, it is a commitment, a declaration to the universe that you are ready to receive what you are asking for. When you set an intention, you are not merely hoping for a certain result, you are actively creating the vibrational conditions that will bring that result into your life. The power of intention lies in its clarity and focus. The more specific and aligned your intention is, the stronger the vibrational signal you send out to the universe, and the more quickly and easily your desires will manifest. But intention alone is not enough. To truly become the vibrational architect of your life, you must also cultivate a deep sense of belief, belief in your ability to create, belief in the universe's ability to deliver, and belief in the inevitability of your success. This belief is not something that comes from external validation or proof. It is something that must be cultivated from within, something that grows stronger with each moment of alignment, with each experience of synchronicity, with each instance where your reality reflects back the frequency you are holding. Belief is the glue that holds your vibrational blueprint together, the force that keeps you aligned with your desires, even when the outer world has not yet caught up to the shifts happening within. Without belief, your intentions lose their power, your vibration weakens, and you become susceptible to the doubts, fears, and limitations that exist in the collective consciousness. As you continue to create your vibrational reality, it is important to understand that the universe operates on its own timeline, one that often differs from our human expectations. There may be times when it feels as though your desires are not manifesting fast enough, when it seems like nothing is happening, despite all your efforts to stay aligned. But just as an architect does not expect a building to be completed overnight, you cannot expect your reality to shift instantaneously. Manifestation is a process, and like any process, it requires patience, persistence, and trust. Trust that the universe is always working in your favor, even when you cannot yet see the results. Trust that the energy you are putting out is being received, and that the right people, opportunities, and circumstances are being aligned to bring your desires into physical form. Trust that the blueprint you are creating is being built, brick by brick, in the unseen realms, and that it will materialize in the perfect time and in the perfect way. This trust is perhaps the most challenging aspect of becoming a vibrational architect, because it requires you to let go of control, to surrender the need to know exactly how and when your desires will manifest. It requires you to release the attachment to specific outcomes and instead focus on maintaining the vibrational frequency of what you want. When you are in a state of trust, you are not waiting for your desires to manifest, you are living as though they already have. You are feeling the emotions, thinking the thoughts, and taking the actions that align with the frequency of your desired reality, even before it has appeared in physical form. This is the essence of living in vibrational alignment, not waiting for external validation, but creating internal alignment that reflects your deepest truth. As you move forward on this path of creation, you will begin to notice the subtle shifts that occur when you are in alignment with your vibration. Opportunities will arise seemingly out of nowhere, people who can help you achieve your goals will cross your path, and circumstances that once seemed difficult or impossible will begin to flow effortlessly. This is not magic or coincidence, it is the natural result of aligning your vibration with the frequency of what you desire. The universe is always responding to your vibration, always reflecting back the energy you emit. When you are in alignment, the universe has no choice but to bring you experiences that match that frequency. This is the law of resonance, the principle that like attracts like. And as you continue to refine your vibrational blueprint, you will find that the manifestations of your desires come more easily and more quickly, because you are no longer working against the flow of the universe, but moving in harmony with it. One of the most important lessons you will learn as a vibrational architect is that the journey of creation is never finished. There is no final destination, 
no point at which you have arrived. The process of manifestation is an ongoing, ever-evolving dance between your inner world and the outer universe. As you grow, your desires will change, your vibration will shift, and new opportunities for expansion will present themselves. This is the beauty of being a creator, you are never limited by what you have already created. You are always free to design something new, to dream bigger, to reach for higher frequencies and greater possibilities. The more you embrace this infinite potential, the more you will realize that there are no limits to what you can create. The only limits that exist are the ones you impose on yourself through your thoughts, beliefs and emotions. And as you continue to raise your vibration, those limits will dissolve, leaving you free to step fully into your power as the architect of your own life. In the end, becoming the vibrational architect of your life is about recognizing the power you hold to shape your reality. It is about taking full responsibility for the energy you emit and understanding that the universe is always responding to that energy. It is about cultivating the thoughts, emotions, and actions that align with the frequency of your desires and trusting that the universe will bring those desires into physical form in the perfect time and way. It is about living in a state of alignment, where your inner world is in harmony with the outer universe, and where the gap between what you desire and what you experience continues to shrink. The more you practice this, the more you will realize that you are not separate from the universe, but an integral part of its creative process. You are a powerful creator, a vibrational architect, and the life you desire is already within your grasp, waiting for you to align with it.